Personal watercraft's engines are very similar to automotive engines. You'll have a piston cylinder based engine here, and once you start that with the ignition, which is very similar to cars, um, there is no transmission, so all the torque is put directly to a drive shaft, and this drive shaft is connected to an impeller. Now, as this engine revolves and the drive shaft revolves, then you're going to have, or rotates, um, you're going to have this impeller rotating, and the ocean water or lake water, wherever you are, is going to be sucked in through the bottom and forced out the back. Now, because you're throwing a force in that direction, it's going to push the watercraft in this direction. Um, and it's also should be noted that on the bottom there's a heat exchange uh, unit which is used to cool the engine so the heat from the engine is actually put into the body of water that you're resting in. Now at the back of the vehicle you'll have a steering nozzle and this steering nozzle by using the handles you can rotate left or right and it'll rotate the steering nozzle left and right forcing you to go in either direction. Um, also since there is no transmission, you might wonder, well, how do you get reversed? Well, what happens is you'll have a plate come down, and that plate will force the water to come and move in the opposite direction. And so since it's going to be pushing the water this direction, your personal watercraft is going to be going in this direction. And that's how the reverse gear will work. And that's the basic principle behind how a personal watercraft works.